Hey everyone, it's Leftover Thursday. <laughs> Did your mother ever say that when she's cleaning out the fridge? Well, I'm cleaning out my bins here. I still have a ton of paint, but I thought we'd do some blues, uh, dirty pour. Um, we might get away with three cups on this one. So I'll pull that, or maybe we should do, let's do four flip cups instead. Let's see. Let's do six. We'll do little ones. Okay. So I have silver and white. With The white has a little iridescent in it. Um, mineral blue from Soho. This is Prussian blue mixed with the iridescent medium. And I believe that was... Grumbacher, Prussian blue. This is Creative Inspirations Cobalt Blue. And this is Soho Prussian Blue with Iridescent. See the difference between the blues? And then I have Artist Loft Light Blue, Lucas Turquoise, and I believe this is Lucas Arctic. So I just had to have something light to go with the white. I have so much blue here. So I'm going to spray these cups away from the canvas and I'm not going to rub it in. If you spray over your canvas, the silicone spray will put a coating and your paint will skip over it. So you don't want to spray over your canvas. If you do, wipe it off um, with a little alcohol. Some people don't care if it does that, but I do because I don't like it skipping. I'm just picky. Picky, picky. Okay. Wow. So I gotta be careful I don't use too much paint. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the turquoises actually because I think I want them on top. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this Arctic. It's a very pale, um, minty turquoise. It's really pretty. Okay. And then I'm going to follow that with, let's do um, the Prussian blue with the iridescent. I have a June bug on my screen over here, so if you hear buzzing, that's what it is. I have my window open. I was hoping my mockingbird would be out tonight. <laughs> But he's not. Unless someone shot him. <laughs> he's been pretty noisy. I wonder if my bird feeder is empty and that's why he left. Boy, the birds have been out like crazy down here. We're filling it like every other day. So until berry season, they're going to be eating out of there. At least the cardinals do. I saw a couple of uh, canaries the other day. That was cool. pretty cool. Okay. So now, I think I'm going to follow that with, um, let me wipe my finger off. I think I'm going to follow that with silver. I'm going to regret the silver. I just know I am. I very rarely use silver. I had it mixed up for that uh, metallic swipe. The first one was a bomb. And the second one I didn't use it. So this is what was left over. So there's, I used it and I'm happy. Okay. Um, Artist Loft Light Blue. go with this mineral blue from Soho. Oh, it's 
so nice when I empty a container. I've been pretty good about buying the bottles, so I won't have to buy too many of these. Well, I won't have to buy as many of these. I still like them for leftover paints or if I'm going to switch a color in my bottle, I can dump it in here. And these have nice lids. Okay. So we need some white now. the locust turquoise. Baby's got the blues. <laughs> I won't sing, I promise. I did that years ago. <laughs> I sang with a friend in his band and when they lived in Binghamton. Not too often though. iridescent and metallic in it, which is going to be pretty. Okay. Uh, a little more of the Arctic. Oops. Let's take that one back in there. I don't want to put too much more in here, so. But I do want to use up that cobalt, because I have a whole bottle of it already mixed. It's so purpley. I hope I'm not going to regret this. Okay. And I do have uh, phalo blue in a bottle, so I'm going to just to shove the paint down is all I'm going to use it for. I use roofing nails to cap my bottles off now. When they get a little bit of rust on them, I um, change them out. I didn't think roofing nails were supposed to rust. All right. Bring this back. I think we're good. I don't think I got anything dripping over here. Got a mess, though. <laughs> okay. I think I'll do, I'll do this one first. And I'm gonna be sloppy because I can, there's just no way it's too full. <laughs> Pretty. I kinda like that um, turquoise in there. Okay. <laughs> Trying to intermix those paints so we don't have a line. see the silver here but other than that it mixed in quite well there's a little bit there and a little bit there the cobalt is a little purpley I 
and the Arctic is doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Although there is some cells coming up through right here. But not there. So I'm just going to move it around real quick and see what we've got. Some of those paints were a little thin from sitting. You'll find that when you um, store your paints, they get a little thin sometimes. I think it's a flow trial reaction. Okay. So I can already see this here. I have cells coming up through, but I have two big bands there. So I'm going to start over here in this corner. I'm going to catch my corners only because I want to uh, control that line. I like to bring my paint back towards the middle and then force it to the corner and helps me um, round out my cells again so they aren't stretched. Yeah, the cells are coming up through those now. I don't have to worry about them. Paint's definitely got a lot of movement to it tonight. Good thing I used them up. I won't throw paint away <laughs> unless it smells funky. Sometimes metallics get this awful odor to them. screen to see where we're going here. This is all silver through here. I kind of like it right where it's at. I don't see anything that I would want to change. I'm just moving some paint off here. Good. You wipe my hands and we're going to torch it up. The iridescents are there. I can see them all. It's sparkling. It's like down in there in the cells and it will make its appearance as it dries. I should have put some of that cobalt blue, uh, metallic cobalt blue in there from Artist Loft because that's metallic -y and it's beautiful. I'm so glad those cells come up through that green the arctic. There is a lot of cells in here. Looks 
good. Lots of patterning going on. This is really cool. I'll give you a peek here in a second. So while you're here, go ahead and subscribe and click on the bell next to the subscribe button. You'll get notified when I upload an another video. Click like and share and leave a comment. Join me on Facebook and Etsy. All the links are below. Shop with me on Amazon. Washing machine trays are back in stock and those are listed in my Amazon shop as well as the airbrush and the torch and everything you would need to get started. Boy, that's pretty. Let me give you a peek. The cells in that band is so cool. Even in the corners. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So don't be afraid to use your leftover paints. Don't be afraid to play with color. As you saw all the different colors I put in here and we got mainly blue tones. Oh, they're really breaking down now. This is gonna be so cool when it's dry. I will post a picture of this uh, as soon as it's dry on Facebook. And if I can remember, maybe before a video, an upcoming video. So. Have a great night, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.